Welcome, guys. So today we are trying to calculate the fundamental group uh, of the S O N. Okay. So the result is basically uh, right for larger than two. So for pi one S O two, which is pi one sphere, so it's basically uh, yeah. So it's famous Z. And also uh, pi one S O three is Z two. And uh, pi one is all general for S O N, which is also uh, Z two uh, for n larger than uh, three. Okay, and uh, I think in algebraic topology, uh, people already know this, so I will not prove this. And for this, uh, this is our uh, uh, our like a base case. Okay, so the fact is that uh, S O three is homeomorphic to RP3. And uh, you can use the Mayer Victoria sequence to calculate RP3. Uh, okay, I will not do this. So we will assume that the first two are the known case. Then uh, we can use the vibration to calculate this. Okay, so we have the exact sequence. Basically, it's this. And then we take the pi one. Okay, then this will give you uh, pi zero. So this is S O minus one, S O N. Okay, and then this is pi zero S minus one. Okay, and uh, so. Uh, since we want to prove this, right? So, uh, we can use uh, assumption. So by uh, we can that the uh, n which is basically larger than uh three. Okay. So suppose n is larger than three. Okay. Then uh, this pi one then that means n minus one is larger than two, right? So uh okay. So there is also another is pi two as n minus one. Okay. So when uh when n so that means n minus one is larger than two. Uh so this n minus one is two. Okay, so maybe maybe we should use another. Yeah, we should change change s to b. Yeah, we can add uh, n is larger than four. So okay, so when n minus one is larger than uh three, then we ha we also then we have we have uh we have uh pi two as three pi two n minus one is pi one n minus one which is zero. So these two are zeros, right? So this gives you pi one S O N minus one isomorphic to pi one S O N. So that means pi one S O four isomorphic to pi one S O three and the pi one S O five, right? So basically, this is an induction step for all n larger than four. Right? So pi one, so n equals to four can be reduced to n equal to three. So all of this can be reduced to uh, pi one s o three, and then once you know that pi one s o three z two, then you can get this. Okay, so this is the proof. And I think, and I think the first one is basically s o two case is very simple. Okay, and uh, and then you can you uh, and that's it. Yeah, we can also use the same technique to compute the uh, pi one of uh, uh, S U N, right? Sorry. Yeah, we can calculate the pi one of S U N in the next time. Basically, use the use the same uh, vibration technique, and we can take the Z sequence. Okay, so that's it. I will see you guys in the next videos.